Hey y'all, what's up? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are and what time of day you're watching. I thought it might be fun to show you how I plan in my Hobonichi Cousin for the week's spread. I typically fill the majority of this out on the day of. I use it sort of, not exactly as a memory tracker, but almost kind of like a memory tracker. I fill it in as I go, though some of the things, such as my schedule, some of those things do take place on the same day or around the same time, so I can go ahead and fill that in. And then I can flip forward and show you as I'm filling some of the information in and just what a, well actually I can flip over here and show you what a completed week looks like. I try to keep this minimalistic and just pretty pleasing to the eye i love using these little kits and this particular kit for this week and last week are the lucky charms kit it was the seventh anniversary edition that the coffee monsters co put out when the store turned seven and for me because i incorporate stickers and stamps I can make those kits generally last two to three weeks. So we're going to flip forward for the first week, first full week in April. I'm going to be using the Hubanuchi Cousin Spring Adventures Kit. Quite hilariously, I recently bought a second one of these. Totally forgot that I had this one. So I'll have a second kit coming on the way. Maybe I'll do a giveaway for it. Maybe I'll save it for next year. If you like this kit and you see me use it this week and it's your opinion I should do a giveaway, hop down to the comments down below. Let me know how many of you might be interested to have this kit. Now it is designed for the Hobonichi Cousin, but it can be used in other planners, but they are actually designed to fit in these columns here. So let's just get started, shall we? The first thing I do is whenever I use a kit, I am a matchy matchy kind of girl and I flip to the back to my marker index and I go through and I just study the mild liners I have, the Tombos I have, and I pick out some colors and the two that I decided on for this week are going to be my Tombow number 243 and my Tombow 723, which I've actually been using over the last week already, but I like them. We're just going to keep going with those. So next I choose my washi tape. As you can see from the previous weeks I like to put one on the bottom and I put a little skinny one at the top for whatever reason I don't know why I just got into that habit but that's where I'm at I chose this super cute washi from my other favorite shop every minute a story and then I'm going to accent with these cute little bunny rabbits this was part of an Easter pack that I got from Amazon I will find that pack link it down in the description below as well as all of the shops that I'm going to be using which typically are every minute of the story in the Coffee Monsters Co. Let me know who your favorite sticker shops are down in the comments below. If there's one that has a kit that you love, you've been eyeballing, but you want somebody to try it out first, let me know. I will grab that sucker and give it a whirl. Uh, as long as I can get it to fit in the cousin. If they're bigger than the squares, like sometimes every minute of the story, even though it says it's Hibonichi Cousin, it doesn't really fit in the week's part. It fits in the daily part, which is where I use them. All right, let's get started. That is absolutely precious. I thought this would be really cute for a little spring spread. Just the cute little flowers, the tulips that are in there. And now let's accent across the top. I just randomly came up with this idea because whenever I get an Amazon package, they always have little skinny tapes in. And I was like, how am I going to use this? And I just got to looking one day and I said, well, you know, I think these little strips will fit across the top and just give me something fun to look at. And you know what? I was right. And then I just kind of got into where I started doing it every week and make sure nobody came over the top. Okay, we're good, fam. This is my favorite part of the week. I absolutely love decorating for the next week. Okay, that's done. Now what I like to do is start just having fun, throwing some stickers down. I'm actually gonna skip two of those because I'm gonna put the weekend over here. 
And so I don't use those on these days when I have a weekend sticker. Instead, I'll use them over on my daily pages or in my journal journals or even in my Hobonichi weeks, which I have here. Now, I am someone who likes to use up all of their stickers, but I don't force myself to try to do it all at once. Like I said, I'm kind of sort of minimalistic. I spread them out over two to three weeks. I actually still have some of this Lucky Charms kit left over that I'm gonna be using just here and there and everywhere, but I don't want to get too crazy with it. Now let's see, which one of these stickers do I wanna put over here? We're just going to put you here. We're going to put you down here. All right, now for the fun stuff. Stickers! So garbage goes out on Tuesday. Recycle goes out on Wednesday. It's always up in the air when I'm going to do groceries, so we're going to hold off putting that one down, but we need to put down who are we going to choose for our wash the sheets. Let's do, let's do a yellow one again. Always do that on Mondays. Wash all the sheets and blankets, get that taken care of. Now let's find our chore. Oh, I need to get some more of these. Rut row shaggy. Well, we'll just have to get creative. So I always dust on Mondays and clean the baseboards, which all of these you're about to find out, these are cleaning blocks. I do not spend one day doing all the cleaning. I love having a clean house. I cannot stand spending half a day or the majority of a day doing it. So what I do is I'll do one or two chores a day that takes maybe half an hour. And here's what happens. Because it only takes 20 to 30 minutes, depending on what it is. One, I don't get aggravated doing it. Two, my house is constantly in a state of something has been cleaned. And three, because I'm singling out one or two chores per day, I do a better job at it. When I pile it all up together, I have a tendency to rush and cut corners. So my house is much cleaner. It stays clean. I'm happy. And that leaves my entire weekend open for Chris and I to just do whatever we want to do. No worries. So let's see. So I dust on Mondays. I vacuum the stairs and upstairs on Tuesdays. I've used up all of my vacuuming people. Dagnabbit. All right, well, we will use the little sweeping person. I'm vacuum downstairs and I mop on Wednesdays. And if I had been thinking, I would have put this little guy in the center. Well, I'm dumb. I wonder if it'll come up. Let's try it. Let's see if we can do surgery and pull it up and share it between the two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. That's what we're going to do here. I am so brilliant. Wish I had thought of that before I was using up all of my little vacuum emojis. Okay, so those are the two days I spend doing floors. Thursdays, I clean the kitchen. Do I have any... You know what? I have some spring cleaning emojis. Where are those? Here we go. Here we go. All right. So we do the kitchen. This looks like it'd be fine for a kitchen one. And then Fridays are bathrooms. Let's do the smelling good emoji for that one right there. All right, let's start filling some stuff in. So over here is where I list my videos that I'm gonna do in a week. This is where I list the videos that I'm for sure gonna do and ideas. 
and I'll film as much as I can, just depending on how I feel that day. And whatever doesn't get done, we'll move on to the next week. And then I just have them going where I just check them off as I get them done. So that's going to go there. So now what I'm going to do is fill in the videos that I'm going to plan this week. And I'm going to be using my Narwhal. This is the collaboration with Peter Draws. I'll link his channel down in the description below. But this is the Peter Pen in Ocean Blue. The ink that I currently have in it is the Emerald de Chavour. I will also have that link down in the description below. It is absolutely gorgeous. And you don't have to do this. I just do. I never post my pens. I just wanted to mention that in case y'all are thinking these pens can't be posted. They can. I just prefer not to for whatever reason. Okay. And then what I like to do is I take, which, where have I put it? Okay. I use these little clean color dot pens to be my little check off bubbles. So I'm just going to put a little dot next to each one so I can have a fun little way to check those off as I get them done. And that's gonna take care of us for now. That's as far as I can get until I actually start doing stuff because I make my schedule as I go. And sometimes I get started earlier in the day. Sometimes I'll work later in the evening. I just have that luxury of making my own schedule. But that is what we look like with a new pretty clean week. With this being Saturday, April 1st, this is all of the pre-planning I can do. These are items that are scheduled, that are going to happen no matter what. The rest of the schedule is just going to depend on the day and timing. Oh, I have a hair appointment on Thursday. Let me add that. So we got something pink on that day. Let's put something green. All that is left to do now is to wait for Monday to get here so I can start filling in what I do with my day to keep track of the hours I spend doing what. I'll film that clip at the end of each day, speed all of it up just so you can see what it's going to look like as we get to the end of the week. We'll go through it together and you can see just how I use my weekly spread. breaking in real quick here. I love these little companion stamp sets that you can get by Beverly from Jet Pens. I'll have them linked down in the description below. I like to mix in a little bit of stamps with my cute little stickers just to break things up, especially if it's something that I'm going to use every day. Like I don't want to buy 365 stickers of keeping up with what I eat and grocery shopping, just things of that nature, birthdays, just break it up a little bit. But I'll have these linked below. You're gonna see these make an appearance all throughout this video. And anytime you see any of my spreads, these are going to be in them. Mm -hmm. 